Hello guys and welcome to another Applied Energistics 2 tutorial. In this video I will talk about good ME controller designs. I will specifically go through this one, this uh, 3x3 cube. It has over 2000 channels, uh, 2300 something, and it should be enough for most bases I think and it's very compact and quite easy to build as well easy to to expand in steps when you need it so I've been trying some different uh, designs as you can see I'm doing this uh, step by step uh, this is how it can look when it's implemented perhaps in a controller room with uh, but, but I go through everything mm. This is a different approach and this as well, but they are slightly worse. So this is the best 3x3 I've come up with so far. Uh, and I have been trying another style. Um, so this baby has in total, uh, let's see, 18,560 channels. Uh, but it's not optimal at all. I think we can squeeze out a few thousand channels more, perhaps around 21 or 22,000 um, in case you need it. <laughs> but uh, I will do that in a different video and I will have a link in the description where for that. Uh, and it might look like this because I think this design is better, but I'm not finished yet. So let's take it step by step and begin with a normal I mean, a sane size. You probably never ever need to go that big, but uh, this one might be actually quite useful. So let's uh, let's build from scratch. I think that's easier. Um, the purpose of having such controller is to have it in the center of a base, such as this one. Over there, I had the uh, the old uh, ME controller for this tutorial, but. I really wanted to build a, what, what can I say, a normal, valid, uh, useful and good. So let's uh, let's start. And I built upstairs a few blocks high so we can see what we're doing. Since you have seen a lot of these before, then I know, then you should know how they work. But let's build a cube like this. There are design rules for these ME controller blocks. I can't place another one here because it will be inactive. As you can see, like this, this outer parts will work and this won't. And this is, I wouldn't want to do that as well, but um, because I will lose channels. But this is all, this is valid. And this is actually very good. So in total, this is 60. 20 blocks I think so not that extreme and to to get the maximum out of this then we use p2p tunnels you can of course you can do like this I have a one dance here and one dance here and you have 32 channels going wherever you want them to go like this and then you have up here going one way and here going one way so that's easy and it works for for all the outer the the outer ring but we actually have a lot of sides in here as well and they are well you can't do like this then you connect to all four at the same time and you won't gain anything else than 32 channels anyway if it works i think i think it works but it's worthless we use P2P tunnels and I will do this for the entire build. You can combine P2P tunnels with having some channels going out like this for uh, things close by, but uh, I will do it with P2P tunnels all the way around. So let me dress up this with all P2P tunnels on all sides that I can reach and use. And in this design, I think Everything we can see, yeah, everything we can see, every side we can see is possible to use. And these ins inside blocks, they are very important because they 
here we can connect to four sides at the time. So this is 128 channels coming out from here, but we need to use thin cables because the thick, the dense ones won't fit in there. So almost done. I think it's 72 sides we have in this one, but I'll have to double check that. Okay, where do we start? So since we have thin cables, we can connect with eight P2P tunnels. Forgot those. And we can go away like this, chop, chop, chop. And here we have eight channels. Um, then we'll, since it's eight and we need to have eight outputs, then you would need to use like an ME controller like this and then have your P2P tunnels coming out on this side. Even better is to combine it with even more channels like, let's see, let's do orange over here like that and let's put them together here then we'll get 16 channels in here and we can of course continue doing so uh, let's see one more round we have green coming on this side like this then we're up to 24 and let's have another green here. Colors doesn't matter, but it's good for show, I guess. So, what did I do like that? We can do, make it more compact like this. Perfect. So now we have 32 channels going in here and we have 32 channels coming out here with uh, like your backbone system exactly as I did over here. So we have a backbone subnetwork going this way and then I extract one, one channel at a time. One channel for this room and one for that and one for that and one for that and so on. So this, this one going away over here can host 32 rooms with 32 channels each. So that's, uh, that's quite good. But we have a lot of channels left here and let's continue until we have filled them all. And if you were worried about the power part, we will come to that. And of course, you don't need to do this. You can have uh, the maximum size you can, the maximum number of channels you can run in a, in a thin cable is four. So I can demonstrate that on, uh, yeah, on this side. That's good. So we can have one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four. And then this cable can go in one direction. This cable can go in one direction. And let's, and then over here, like far away, let's go further away. So I have one room here and one here and one here and one here. So these four correspond to these two. So you have 32 channels here and here and here and here. So 128 in total here. And we do the same thing here as well. Let's go further. Then you don't need any sub sub network like I have over here. So this is quite many channels. This is 32 times 32 going away over here. And here we have 128 in each and 32 coming out for each. And then we have the final ones in the center. Let's go for green again simply like that I can't build today same thing here you have the p2p tunnels coming out like this Oops. so but these need power like I have over here you will have to power each net it's still a subnet and you need power but you can do that with uh, just use quartz fiber to connect different nets and, uh, you, you know, basic stuff. Uh, let's see, we have, we have still have something here that can come out. We have four channels coming out and here we have four channels coming out. Here below, also four channels. And 
now for the final part you are still wondering the ME controller is not powered you can see it's not doing anything no energy or anything so we have to be uh, we have to attach power somewhere and of course we can do like like this no we can't do like that we can uh, do like this then we have power in the ME controller but these 32 channels that we have over here they are wasted so let's see we have to use another color that doesn't connect attach a p2p tunnel to that and now let's do it like this p2p tunnel on that one and then like that then we're getting this channel out and we can connect power up here somehow oh actually we can do it like this like so wrong now now we have power so this is powered and all these 32 channels are going to this tunnel and then you just have to extract it somewhere along the line so now we have power on everything we have 2306 or something double check that of course and uh, a quite good controller with the, that should be enough for very long in any base and it does look quite good as well and it's flexible you can either do dense cables with a backbone system you can extract one thin cable going away with four channels or yeah like i have here like four coming out and then f extracting four no need for another controller and uh, still have 128 channels in one cable going away so i think that's probably the best approach uh, but quite cool that you can do this as well so uh, i think that's it if you have any questions about this design then of course leave a comment if you have any ideas of how to do these things you can take before we end we can take a closer look on how this works uh, as i said this one is finished but i think i can optimize it even further so that's why i'm doing another design over there and it looks really it looks really advanced yeah, here you can see the same thing here i have the power input here and uh, p2p tunnel up here for that side so the same thing as i just did over there so here i just need to connect like this uh, let's see here are eight channels and eight channels seven channels here and seven channels here so if we go away like this Yep, then we have 30 channels coming in to this side. So it won't be even 32 everywhere, but I mean, that's that's how it is. Uh, really fun to build, but it takes a really long time. So you never need to do this. But this one, I recommend doing this design as soon as your base is starting to get large because it's very flexible and very effective. So if you have any questions, as I said, just leave them if you have any ideas leave those as well and i'll be back with another video doing a maximum channel attempt let's uh, see how that goes All right thanks for watching take care and bye, -bye.